All right, we are recording on. Sorry, we are recording on Undertale Part 19, I think. Yeah, hopefully we counted that right. Uh, how, how do you count again? It's one B. What well, if you Roman numeral three, four as an F O R E? So you can count like stories and go four, five, six, one, two, three. Seven, eight, nine. Or like Windows, which would be, uh, let's see, uh, 3, uh, 95, 98, um, 2000, XP, Vista, 8, 10. <laughs> or you can count like a programmer and go 0, 1, 10, 11. Or it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, what is it? A, B, C, D, E, F. <laughs> Go for oh, hexadecimal. Oh, oh. <laughs> hexadecimal. Again, you started at zero, though. You so started zero, zero, one, zero, one, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, eight, eight, nine. A, B, C, D, E, F. Zero. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> then it's ten. I swear the hexadecimal was invented to just confuse people with math. No, it is very useful in programming, but only pretty much in programming. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Undertale, where after that special behind the scenes look that you just got at us being ridiculous. Um, for some reason, you, me, and Matt are all fascinated with different methods of counting videos. <laughs> I don't know why, but we always seem to be making jokes about how we count these things and number them. Whether it's audio test one or whatever, or Matt and me talking about we pull on F. And I don't know. Anyway, we are here this time after I grinded up an absurd amount of money since last time. And uh, Nate is going to pay for Tammy's college. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Going into awesome, the temp shop up there. Not remember if we counted on that last time, but there's a little uh, Easter egg right there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we looked at everything. Welcome to the temp shop! So I wanna talk? Bye. You bye. wanna buy? Alright, bye. Tem pay for college. Tem pursue higher education. Oops. I fell fall. Whoa! That's a lot of months. Can Tim really accept? Okay, Tim go to college and make you proud. Wait. <laughs> it gets better. <laughs> Tim back from Cool Egg. Tim learned many things. Learned how to sell new items. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. She went to college that fast. <laughs> uh, so you might want to talk now. Um, about Temi armor. Temi armor is so good, and he about to become an easy victories. But hmm, Tim think if you use armor, his battles wouldn't be challenged anymore. Is but Tim have a solution. Tim will offer a scholarships. Scholarship. <laughs> if you lose a lot of battles, Tim will lower the price. Okay. So if you get to tough battle and feel frustrated, you can buy Tim Armor as last resort. Alright. But Tim Armor so good, it's promised to only buy if you really need it. So if you look at the Temi Armor, and this is your decision by the way, if we have enough money for it. Uh, 2400, we don't have quite enough money. <laughs> armor, 20 defense. Nice. You may choose whether or not you want that armor. It's probably better than what you have now. Um, and if you want it, we can grind for it, or you can go without it. But I warn you, we are about to fight some difficult bosses, so it is entirely up to you. She doesn't want you to buy it unless <laughs> you really need it, but it's, it's your playthrough. Um, well, let's try it without. Okay. If we want to go back and get it, after we've lost a couple times, we'll probably be able to afford it. <laughs> So now Tem is educated. Okay, there's also a funny thing. So, um, last time if you tried to sell her something and you refused to sell her, when she freaked out about the price, she would just say, you will regret this. Now, going to sell, 
We don't want to actually um, sell anything, but just click on something. Um, hit no. Okay, you click it again. You keep hitting no, and just wait until she gets to that point. Like, click a different thing. Like, bicycle. And keep doing that with different items until she does the thing where she freaks out about the how much she wants one. Funny, usually she would have by this point. Try the pie. Hmm. hmm. Can I see real quick? Yeah. I didn't break, break the game, did I? No. Um... Well, it appears she's just not gonna do that this time. Not with these items, anyway. Um... The difference is that instead of saying, you will regret this, she says something like, is this a joke? Are you having a chuckle? Ha ha! I'm the one with a degree. <laughs> <laughs> You're much more educated to put down. <laughs> Alright, so... We are going to... There isn't this option that says pause, is there? No, there isn't. Okay. Um, we're going to cut the recording here, and we will see you back at the final area of the game. So this is my chance to leave a secret message to everyone. Let me think of something. Well, I mean, first of all, pineapple belongs on pizza, but there's another fruit that doesn't, and it's red, and I have a vengeance against that fruit. So yeah, that's going to be the secret message that I put into this recording, because you can't stop me. It doesn't have to go anywhere, but it's here. Pineapple belongs on pizza, but the other fruit doesn't. I don't know what you've been saying, but I'll be listening to that recording later. <laughs> How'd you know I'd be saying something to the recording? I just heard you through oh. the door. I just couldn't make out the words, but I could hear your voice. <laughs> Sound carries. <laughs> I'll be listening later. If it's funny, it'll probably go in the video as this is what happens when I leave Nate alone for a minute. Alright. Okay, and this is pretty close to where we were last time. So, let's keep going up. You'll definitely want to save... There should be a save point to the right of this door. Throne room. As usual with this king, very creatively named. I mean, why name something that it's not when it's clearly... Mm -hmm. Meet King Asgore. Oh, he doesn't seem too mean. Dum -de -dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I'm almost finished watering these flowers. Wait a second. Flowers. Mm, keep going. <laughs> Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> but, you know how it is. That's okay, I don't like tea anyways. Oh, heathen. I'm just kidding, I don't drink much tea. I'm more of a coffee guy, but... I also don't like coffee. <laughs> Truly, heathen, but we can be friends anyway. <laughs> we can still be friends. <laughs> Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. That's a lot better than a boss battle. 
You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Oh, I don't, we don't get to have a fight to the death in, in a garden filled with flowers? No. What is that? Oh. It's the throne. You can check that thing up at the top that's covered. Because that's just a throne. Obviously. It's another throne, covered by a white sheet. Have you noticed yet what, what might be going on here? Did somebody else who um, had a home very similar to Asgore's home and no longer lives here and a throne that's covered by a sheet and he's a king without a queen? Remind you of anybody? Oh, would that maybe be Toriel? So there's another save point if you want. <laughs> they give you plenty of save points near this section. But it doesn't tell me what fills me with determination. Yes, you noticed that. That's a good observation. No, they don't tell you that. There's some of the few save points in the game that don't. How tense. Just think of it like... A visit to the dentist. That doesn't calm most people down. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I, I don't think the dentist is that bad. Uh, I need to go to the dentist. I haven't been in a long time. Yeah, neither have I. <laughs> are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Not having to go to the dentist, it fills you with determination. Heck yeah! <laughs> All right, man. Get ready for my favorite song in all of Undertale. This is the barrier. I thought it was some weird lighting effects. That too. <laughs> this is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue or go back. I came here to do one thing. Eat pie? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> I see. This is it then. We'll lose at both sides, I'm not quite sure. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. That's the nicest thing any boss has said before they tried to kill me. And in case you thought about sparing him. You have to fight him. Also, let me turn up the volume a little. Apologies if that shows up in the recording, but this boss fight's too good not to do that with. I haven't actually... Alright, I think we had agreed we might take turns on this fight, but that's up to you. Yeah. Because I might be able to clear him in one go, because I've played this fight a lot. So, I may... We may just... Ah, oh, so close. Alright, remember to keep an eye on your HP and heal when necessary. You have plenty of healing items. So I um, should be able to go one more wave. Maybe. Um, two things. One, if you go under Act, I'm gonna give you a, li a little bit of a hint with this fight. Okay, if you talk to him a couple of times in a row, all of his stats will go down. And that butterscotch pie I've been having you save since the beginning of the game, if you eat that, it's a full heal, and his stats will go down again. Okay. Um, so you can do either of those. In fact, I'd recommend talking to him a couple of times. But uh, those are two things you probably want to do in this fight, because they will be very useful. 
his hands tremble for a moment. Seems like he doesn't want to fight me either. What? 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 <gasps> okay. <gasps> Use the pie. <laughs> He ate the butterscotch pie, pie, but it reminds him of Toriel, so... The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. Don't move. Okay, you saw those two little sparkles on his cape? Those are gonna be the order of his attacks, so they were blue-blue. Don't move through the blue ones, but with the orange ones you'll have to move. So if it went blue-orange-blue, blue, you'd have to... Freeze, then move, then freeze. Okay. Does his tell for that attack. Tell him that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. No, he's not Darth Vader. Ninja. This is a reference. Firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Sounds like Toriel, doesn't it? Yeah. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. Alright, so that'll be all that talking does. At this point, you want to beat the crap out of him. <laughs> uh, yeah, his attacks are kind of an advanced version of Toriel's. That was a fun attack. It gets faster. <laughs> Don't be surprised if you die a couple times. Me die in a video game? Never. Yeah, sorry, what was I thinking? I also didn't want to have trouble beating a video game I programmed in front of my teacher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just because you can program it doesn't mean you can play it. First rule of gaming. <laughs> you can program unbeatable video games. Yeah. Orange, blue, orange. Or you can just not move. I was supposed to move during that, wasn't I? <laughs> uh, yeah, kind of. Ah, I missed a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, so this uh, you're using the the um, oh. heal. You're using the gardening knife thing. Uh, so um, uh, what heals the most? Um, bicycle, I think. Yeah, now it's a unicycle. Ah. Mm. Mm. Ah. No, it's a popsicle now! What?! I didn't remember it doing that ever! I've never oh. seen that! Oh, it's a but It's two popsicles, that's what it- Oh! But no, I swear it normally turns into a unicycle! What the heck?! Huh! No, see, you eat the unicycle, but it said popsicle. <laughs> Dang it, Toby, how many secrets did you program into this game? <laughs> oh. Did okay. I mention this fight is hard? What, boss fight's being difficult? What is this, a video game? Move. Well, I did that terribly. Uh, the CT will make you a little faster. strategy with that attack is to move to the opposite side of the screen from where that big attack comes, because there won't be anything there. Well, a possible strategy, anyway. I thought I did just fine. I'll go one more attack and then the other game. Yeah, yeah, you did. You actually did really well on that one. Blue, don't move. I got one more attack. You're whittling down his health. You seem to have figured out the good strategy with that one. You got one more attack! Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. 
Ah! Ooh! Okay, you might want to heal now. Bicycle or another CT? CT will make it a little faster. It's up to you. Oh, the cinnamon bunny actually might heal more. You're right. Or I was right. Okay. Okay. Good to know. The boss fight is awesome, though, isn't it? Yeah. I got that one down! <laughs> <laughs> For the moment. Just wait till he starts throwing an orange again. Ah. You may actually get this first try. Wait, I'm actually good at video games? What? <laughs> Ooh, 209. You don't have to mash the A button after the attack anymore. It doesn't do anything extra with this weapon. Oh. I just blame, you know. With one weapon, it did. That's probably where you got the habit from. Yeah. I, I think that's the weapon I had in the last video I watched of this. <laughs> uh, we'll use the C. C. Yeah, I'm leaving it up to you how you get through this. But he's tough. Like, he means business. Okay, keep moving. Good. Getting close. 268. That was the most damage we've done yet. You keep doing progressively more damage throughout the fight. We can get one more attack. Oh, of course it's this one. I suck at dodging that one. The audio delay that always has plagued me should be gone. So, I can actually hum to the music. Getting really close! Ow! Popsicle. You eat municipal. Apparently, I can't decide what it is. Oh, man, that one is freaking hard. Asgore is low HP. Ooh! 612. Ah. Uh, nice work, Nate! You beat him first try! High five, dude! Heck yeah! So that is how it is. Sorry, hold on. Now that that boss is over. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. You remember the story the monsters told us about Azrael, his son? A little bit. He went to, like, that the, the human had fallen down, and that human died, and, um, that Azrael consumed his soul and took him to the surface, but everybody thought that, well, him, them, to the surface, but everybody thought that Azrael had killed the human and attacked Azrael, but Azrael didn't do anything and then came back and collapsed and died. And so in one moment, the king and queen had lost both of their kids, basically, and and uh, it was not a happy day. And one night they lost both their kids. Lovely. Uh, yep. There's a spider on the wall. Oh. Can you reach him? Or do you want me to go and get him? Get him. Yeah, got him. Nice. Squish him. Make sure he's dead. I don't want him crawling around in my trash can. He's dead. Yep. Yeah. Why does everyone assume the first time I score the spider it doesn't kill it? I don't know. If I'm squishing the bug, I'm squishing it to kill it. If I'm putting it in a cup, then I'm going to release it outside. Mm-hmm. Alright. Keep on going. In a fit of anger, I declared war. Not the right time to declare war. Mm. 
when you just had both of your kids killed by the humans and you'd already been trapped underground by them? I mean, yes, but in a fit of anger is not the time to declare war. Mm. Fair, but still. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike. And free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity. You can't really blame him. Humanity's been really horrible to the monsters. Humanity is terrible at most points in history. Yeah. And let monsters rule the surface in peace. I have brought freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. You, between you and Tommy, the number of prequel references. <laughs> Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. That would be Tori. About Toriel. that. We know where she is. She's safe. Yeah. This time. This time. The first time you <laughs> murdered her. <laughs> I'm never gonna let you forget <laughs> that, you know. Nora Flowey, except this is a different save fire. Exactly. Ha. I can outprogram you, Flowey. <laughs> Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. You notice the mercy button is still kind of broken. Yeah. And put it back together. Your choice. Da da da. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface. I want to get home, but I'm not telling anyone to get there. Mmm. This one didn't fall off. It happens. Th this playthrough. <laughs> this playthrough? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that I've bought you the game, you can proceed to kill everybody mercilessly in some other playthrough. But we're not doing that on my channel. Yeah, I did end up getting you that for Christmas, didn't Yes. You? Human. I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... Like a family. Uh oh. No. He's dead. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. This is you who haven't learned a thing. In this world, it's 
kill or be killed. And that's where we're going to have to end. So apologies, but Nate and I kind of forgot to keep an eye on the recording time and recorded for an hour straight without any breaks that we planned into it. Yeah. Uh, um, we don't but, have an excuse for that. That was just us not being used to doing this anymore. Yeah. And we were just in the zone. Pretty much. So, apologies for the awkwardness of this ending. I'm sort of splicing this in later. But this is where this episode's going to end. Next time, you'll see... Well, if I end this where I expect I'm going to be ending this, next time you will see us fight something a little bit different. Um, what just could possibly a little bit. go wrong? Exactly. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. And remember... Jesus loves you.